Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Ugly Truth. Today, we're going to do an ugly truth about third-party relationships. With that said, third-party third relationships are not just based off of somebody cheating, okay? It can be a family member getting involved, a friend getting involved, saying, hey, I don't really like this person. I don't think you should really date them. I remember when so-and-so did this. So third-party relationships can also be about work, okay, where work is getting involved. I know in my own personal life, my whole life, I have a number three essence that I live by. So I, my whole life, I've had third-party relationships, somebody who gets to just come in and say something, and then it ruins my relationship, whether it's with my family, whether it's with a friend, whether it's with a, a lover. It doesn't quite matter. I know recently I was dating somebody, and... Um, all of a sudden, you know, all my friends are like, yeah, I'm so excited for you. And the person that I was dating on the other side had people telling him that, you know, you should be doing something else. You probably shouldn't be in this relationship. Uh, it's probably not good for you. You need to focus on this, this, that, and the other. Um, another one of my relationships recently with, you know, one of my family members is somebody who came in, doesn't even know me, doesn't know a situation and told one of my family members that I had fucked them over. And all of a sudden, my family member took that like it was God's word and ran with it. So, you know, third party relationships can just be that where, you know, somebody else coming in and making an observation of something they probably know nothing about. And it ends up creating some type of a cat catastrophe between you and the person that you're supposed to be with. Now, with that said, it's going to be very important for you to heal and move on. For some of us, you know, we're not meant to be with anybody right now. So if you have had a third party involvement in your relationships, the only thing that I can say is, you know, learn the lesson and continue moving forward. You know, um, sometimes third party relationships is, you know, just the person's thoughts, you know, that can be a third party is their ego, you know, and ego comes in and says, oh man, you know, this is kind of scary. Maybe I shouldn't do this. And then all of a sudden they take that as, you know, God's word. And again, you're back in the same situation as you were. So, you know, third party relationships, when we talk about that on the Tarot, um, you know, it does not necessarily always mean that they're, you know, screwing around with somebody else. It's just that a third party gets involved, says something, or distracts the individual, and um, they take their attention elsewhere. Now, a lot of the time, you know, they'll come back and they'll tell you, you know, I'm so sorry, I, uh, uh, you know, and then that's going to be entirely up to you on whether or not you want to just accept their apology and move on or accept their apology and go back into the relationship. It's, you know, depending on everybody's circumstances, it's going to be different for everyone. But my biggest advice for you is if this person has cheated on you, um, you know, a leopard never changes its spots, okay? Um, keep that in mind. Usually once a cheater, always a cheater. does not mean that, you know, people can't, you know, grow up and learn lessons and not do that anymore, but it's going to take years for that to happen, and there can be a lot of water under the bridge. I know in my life, um, you know, I had I was pregnant with my oldest daughter and I was cheated on with one of my so-called best friends and I didn't find out until my second pregnancy that um, my kids had a brother. Okay, this was like about a, like a few weeks before I gave birth to my second daughter that, you know, my kids had a brother and I tried to make it work. I tried to make it work for even another kid, you know, three kids down the lane and it ended up just not working, um, you know, because the trust was broken. So, you know, everybody has their own path. You know, some of you guys can be okay with being cheated on and try your hardest to bring a relationship back together. But but, you know, nine times out of 10, they don't usually last. It's like we try to mend, we try to put a Band-Aid on it, maybe some duct tape in a few different spots. But at the end of the day, um, you know, if there's a crack in the relationship, there's probably always going to be a crack. So, you know, I will say, you know, more power to the, you know, the ones that have gotten back together with somebody who has cheated on them and it's never, you know, resurfaced. But, um, you know, what I found in my career of, 
you know, doing relationship uh, coaching is that, you know, it never fully goes away. And then when they're looking at their phone or doing something on their phone, um, you know, you're always wondering who they're talking to or why did they stay out late? You know, they said they were going to the grocery store. Um, you know, another thing too is in third party relationships, when you're with somebody who continues to accuse you of always cheating, most of the time it's because they're doing something unsavory in the relationship. So whether they're having an emotional affair at work or they're having, you know, checking out other people on social media, liking all their posts, talking to somebody in the background uh, that you don't know anything about, but then they're wondering where you are and then they're accusing you of being the cheater, accusing you of doing something wrong when really in all actuality, it's because of something that they're doing. So do keep in mind that, um, you know, the, the steps that people will take to cover up the lies that they are, um, you know, trying to hide within themselves. You know, I was in a relationship one time and yes, you know, because of my number three essence, I have been cheated on more times than plenty in relationships, um, you know, or, you know, third parties, like I always say, get involved in my relationships. And therefore, that's why I found myself single for the last eight and a half years is because, you know, I'm trying to learn the lesson and, you know, then I'll try to be in a relationship. And then again, another third party will come back around, whether it's an ex or a friend who gets involved or something like that. And what I've had to learn is that it has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with me. It has to do with a lesson that I am supposed to learn on this earth. So, you know, do I still trust people? Absolutely. You know, I'm not going to treat everybody as if they're the ones who has allowed a third party in until that other party brings in another third party. And then that's when I am completely turned off. And that's usually when I make my exit and I nine times out of 10 will not return. So it's entirely up to you whether or not you want to try again. Mercury retrograde comes around usually to see if we're still stupid. Um, and a lot of people will fall into the trap and then always remember why it was that they walked away in the first place. So I just wanted to touch uh, bases on third party relationships, clandestine affairs, and, um, you know, keep an eye out, you know, and usually if we're having dreams that someone's cheating, pay attention to your dreams. They're usually cautioning you, um, you know, and if you're having a weird feeling that something is really going on, even though the person is uh, saying that there's not, you know, reach out, have a session. We can always sit down and talk about it and see if it's something that's going on within your natal chart or see if you also have a number three essence or maybe even a stellium of, a stellium of planets in Pisces. Pisces usually uh, rules clandestine affairs, secret love affairs, you know, the whole uh, third party situation. Anyway, you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you for being here for my ugly truth on third party relationships. I love you all so much and I will chat with you again soon. Take care.